Welcome to the Roy Works channel. Uh, today we are going to work on a chainsaw carving of a Christmas gnome. Um, about a month ago, I got a request from a fellow YouTuber, uh, VW Nut 1967. Uh, you should check out his channel. He has a really good channel. Uh, he has a lot of things in his channel about VW vehicles. And um, I figured uh, what a good way to mix the chainsaw carving and VW community together in this Christmas snow. In this video, you're going to see how I'm going to take this log and transform it into a gnome on top of a VW beetle.
What do you think? Um, I think he's adorable. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be sanding him down, but I think he's adorable. And he's he's going to be hard to let go. <laughs> I, I might have to... I don't know. I probably should have waited a little bit longer for mine. <laughs> <laughs> he is cute, though. So to end this video, uh, a lot of people have been asking uh, about the painting and the process that Tracy goes through when painting the gnomes. Uh, and besides putting your hand in white paint, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is the process that you go through when you do this, Trace? So I'm not sure if this is what people are looking for, the people who have asked. Um, I have a ceramics background where I had go I've been going to ceramics since I was 12. Um, so I, I, the place that we went to, we, we had a different technique every other month or so. Um, so I, I learned a lot of different techniques on painting. Um, I do not in any way, shape or form consider myself an artist, um, barely a crafter, but the process that I like, the one that I'm most comfortable with is called dry brushing. So I do the base coats and then I go back and do highlighting and shadowing. Um, what's kind of neat with the chainsaw carving is that you don't have to do the shadowing. The grooves are so deep in there, they make their own shadows. So it's more just the highlighting pot. Um, so I feel like this is a little bit different than what I have done when I was painting. Um, I had a little side uh, business doing uh, shutters, uh, painting house shutters. So that was a lot of work where you had to do all of your highlighting and shadowing, but in between the grooves of all the lats of the, the sh shutter. So um, I feel like this is, you know, the same, the same but different. Um, so th this has been so much fun and I, um, I'm almost, worried about the person who's going to be getting this gnome seeing it ahead of time um i i just i hope that they that they love it as much as as i love it so um i hope that answers anybody's question and i would be happy um we've been using all uh solid wood stains so that the the gnomes are all protected actually the pumpkins were solid wood stains also so that's um, like an exterior yes yeah, so it's which... an exterior uh waterproofing stain and sealer and i've been picking them up at home depot um and the people there have um, been very very uh, accommodating um so i've had all the different colors uh, of the rainbow now at this point <laughs> so i hope that answers everybody's questions and again um i'm not an artist but i would gladly pass on any information that i have to oh, anybody I else i definitely think you're an artist yeah, i'm going to show some of the shutters she's done also oh, no. okay <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well that's going to be it for today i'll show you the finished product when this is done and i'll just show you a quick uh view of some of tracy's shutters she's done